Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Fun and Affordable Magic the Gathering. I'm Joshua Jones here with you, and we got Unstable Magic coming your way with the Commander Deck Tech on Old Buzz Bark. So if you don't know what Old Buzz Bark is, it's a red and a green and X for a 3-3 legendary creature goblin warrior. That says when Old Buzz Bark enters the battlefield, roll X six-sided dice onto the battlefield from a height of at least X inches for each die put a number of 1 1 counters equal to the result on each creature you control that die touches or is touching for each die old buzz bark deals damage equal to the results to each creature an opponent controls that die is touching and old buzz bark is the kind of leader if you will of the goblin explosioneers faction of unstable so with this commander if you're going to go ahead and get this deck or make your own i would just recommend uh bringing some sort of tape measure with you to the table because you might need it and i would just also suggest for your play group to come up with a maximum height or something like that so that things don't get too out of hand or just let them go crazy who cares have, have a good time with it so this is going to be a three-part video uh this first first part is going to be old buzz bark and the deck tech and then i'm going to run down the contraptions for this deck so i've selected 25 contraptions um and I'll go over that in the second part of this video right on the playlist after this one. So head on over there after this and check that out. So let's jump right into it here. Uh, here we have our ramp cards with Selfie Preservation and Mad Science Fair Project. So Selfie Preservation just lets you tutor for a land. And if it has a tree, uh, you can uh, put it onto the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, you have to put it into your hand and then shuffle your library. So you're going to want to grab, you know, anything with the tree in it so that you can get ramp otherwise you'll just be getting a land for two mana and that's not that's not great not bad but not great and then we have mad science fair project which is just a mana rock taps for a colorless if you get three or lower and a color of your choice if you get high uh, four five or six so here we have far seek cultivate kanama's reach and animist awakening so all these are pretty basic but i'll explain animist awakening here it's a green and an x and you reveal the top x cards of your library put all land cards from among them onto the battlefield tap and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order now if you have spell mastery you get to untap those lands spell mastery means you have two or more instance indoor sorcery cards in your graveyard so the reason why i chose this as one of the ramp cards is because of part three of the video which is going to be what you can do with this deck after it becomes no longer legal in the commander format we'll get to that in a bit so moving on we have felwar stone gruel signet commander sphere and soul ring some more basic mana producers moving on to the advantage suite we have rishgar's expertise zendikar resurgence so at six and seven mana this is later on down the game it'll give you some advantage but also um not only drawing cards, but double tapping for your mana and getting to play a free five or less spell from your hand. Then we have Life Crafters Vestuary, Harmonize, Vanquisher's Banner, Elemental Bond. So Elemental Bond, I think, goes off enough in this deck. I mean, your commander is a 3-3, three, three, so uh, that'll just replace itself. And any other 3-3 three, three in the deck is going to get you up on cards. Harmonize, just a great green card draw spell. Vanquisher's Banner, we're going to want to name Goblin with that. Give a little boost to the Goblins and draw a card when we cast one. And then Life Crafters, I think, is just a straight green staple. I've said that before, and I'll say it again. Uh, scrying so that you get to control your draws and then paying a green whenever, whenever you play a creature so that you could draw a card is just excellent. Here we have Uncage the Menagerie, Enshrined Memories, Wildest Dream, momentous fall so this kind of advantage uh with these x themes we'll get into in a minute uh, you can probably tell by the opening slide but that's part three of the deck and then they do give you advantage because you get to return stuff from your graveyard look at a bunch of cards from the the top and fill your hand up with them and then also uh, with momentous fall you do have to sacrifice a creature but you get to draw a bunch more cards than that one creature so you're up you're going to be up on cards especially since you could do that at instant speed so if the creature was going to die anyways for example and we have our removal so 
with the removal, we have Fanning the Flames and Earthquake. So Fanning the Flames with the buyback is just great because you get repeated targeted uh, removal of a creature or you could hit a player. Earthquake is great because it deals damage to each creature without flying and each player. So both you get flyers and some player damage. Here we have Decimate, Cross and Grip, Beast Within, and Hole Breach. So Cross and Grip is just going to be great because that split second lets us get rid of troubling artifacts or enchantments. And then Decimate for 4 mana, being able to get rid of 4 targets is solid. Beast Within because it just hits any permanent that's giving us a problem. And then Hole Breach, again, 2 mana to get rid of 2 things is just good value. Here we have Clan Defiance, Sudden Demise, Savage Twister, Subterranean uh, Trimmers. So Subterranean Trimmers, we're going to always want to make sure that um, X is 8 or more. So for 9 mana, we're going to be able to destroy all artifacts and deal uh, 8 damage to each creature without flying. And then also get an 8-8 eight, eight Lizard when we're done with that. So 9 mana... X will equal 8, and you'll be good to go there. Savage Twister, because you can have it deal that much damage to each creature. So, another board wipe. And then, the same with Sudden Demise, but you just choose the most troubling color on the table. And Klein Defiance says, choose one or more. I guess, uh, if you have stuff that you don't want to get rid of, you wouldn't choose one of these options. But most of the time, just go ahead and choose to deal X damage to creatures with flying, without flying, and to a player that is almost uh, dead or at the highest life total or whatever. You choose on that one. So, Moving on, we have some haste and some hexproof. So we're running two ways to give our creatures haste and then two ways to give our creatures hexproof or shroud, if you will. That also give... Uh, haste to that creature. These are pretty common spells here. So Then we have some boost and some trample. So we have hardened skills that if a 1-1 counter is going to be placed on a creature that many plus 1. So like if we hit one of our creatures with the the old buzz bark deal there, then we'll get plus 1 on that. Solidarity of heroes. So we can pay extra mana if we have it just laying around and then double the number of 1-1 counters on creatures that we target overwhelming stampede and over uh, overrun to close the game out when we get into the late game here we have our creature suite so this is what i'm sure everyone tuned in to see these are the actual unstable old buzz bar cars that we need to go into detail with so first off let me answer this hydra doodle question yeah it's not a goblin explosion here uh card but it does have to deal with counters, and it's super awesome, and I have two poodles, so how am I not going to include it in this deck? But we have Hammer Jammer, Goblin, Haberdasher, and Ground Pounder. So uh, Hammer Jammer, we'll just read over them here, three in a red. As Hammer Jammer enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die. Hammer Jammer enters the battlefield with the number of one one counters equal to the result. Whenever you roll a die, remove all one one counters from Hammer Jammer, then put a number of one one counters equal uh, on it equal to the result. So, phew, that guy keeps keeps changing, or changing around there. Haberdasher just has Menace, and it gives other creatures you control wearing hats. In there are Menace. So... If you get goblin tokens in this deck, make sure to use the ones for unstable because all of those goblins are wearing hats. Ground Pounder is a 2 2 for 2, so a bear, but also says whenever you roll a 5 or higher, it gets trampled until, into tire, into the, until the end of the turn. Excuse me. And 3 and a green at instant speed, of course. Roll a 6 sided die. Ground Pounder gets plus X plus X, where X is the result. Then we have Steam Flogger Temp. Joy Rider Rigger, Steam Flogger Service Rep, and Party Crasher. So, haste, you can attack each uh, combat during each other opponent's turn. So, for that, you're going to need to have Vigilance or something. Otherwise, you're only going to be able to attack with it once each round of play. But you can just, like, on your last guy's turn, everybody's tapped out from doing all their steps. So, you can just be like, oh, and I'm going to hit you because you're tapped out now with this guy or whatever. Steam Flogger Service Rep is not the best value, but whenever it enters the battlefield, whenever another creature, excuse me, enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, it assembles a contraption, and it's a 1-1. One -one. So we are running contraptions, and that'll help you do it. Now, Joy Ride Rigger just straight 
when it ETBs assembles a contraption, and then the temp pay six tap and it assembles a contraption for a two one. So not the best, but in the late game it at least does some stuff. Then we have Steam Flogger of the Month, which is a 3-3 three, three for 3 red-red. When it enters the battlefield, it assembles a contraption for each contraption you control. Steam Flogger Boss, which is a 3 and a red, 3-3. Three, three. Other riggers have plus 1, plus 0 oh in haste. If a rigger would assemble a contraption, instead it assembles two contraptions. Three-headed giant just has triple strike, so first strike, regular strike, and extremely slow zombie strike, class strike damage. And then wrench rigger is a 1-1 one, one for 1 that assembles a contraption when it ETBs. Alright, now we got our utility, so we're going to work a double, which means we're going to assemble two contraptions. We're going to have Crocs Other Thumb that says... If you would roll a die instead, roll two and ignore one of the results. Hammer Fist Boomtacular says whenever you cast a spell with a goblin explosion near watermark, which is the watermark that we have on all of our stuff here, it deals two damage to target creature or player. And then Steam Floggery, roll a six sided die, assemble a number of contraptions equal to the results. Box of Free Range Goblins lets us roll a six sided die and create a 1 1 goblin equal to the number of the die roll. Hammer Helper, gain control of the target creature until end of turn, untap it, roll a six sided die, it gets plus X plus O, where X is the result. Then we have Everything of a Jig A. Everything in Magic A is two tap, move a counter from one permanent onto another, and then make it that type. Otherwise, it becomes a plus one, plus one counter. We can also pay three tap, put a one, one counter on a creature, and then four tap, proliferate. As luck would have it, so we just have a hex proof. Whenever you roll a die, you put the counters on this equal to the result, and if you get a hundred, you win the game. Chittering Doom. Whenever you roll a 4 or higher on the die, get a 1-1 one, one squirrel creature token. And a stamp of approval, we're going to choose the Goblin Explosioneer's watermark and get a 1-1 one, one boost to all of our stuff. Yep, and then we'll move on to our lands. So, we're on to 39 lands in this deck, including Kessick Wolf Run and Scrog the Rage Pits with 15 forest and 7 mountains. And we are running heavy on a green. Water Market, tap to add 2 Colorless mana, but only for Goblin Explosion. Here's watermarks. Well, it counts for Hydra Doodle as well, but primarily Goblin Explosion. Here's watermark. Secret Base, which is tap for colorless, but you could also tap for any color if you spin it on Goblin Explosion. Here's watermark. And that's going to do it. So, real quick about this price tag. I could not get the optimizer on TCG Player to work just wasn't happening you'll notice here that the number of items you get is 128 for 60 dollars for old buzz bark here and the reason why that is is because this 128 items is gonna run you 60 bucks if you get the old buzz bark deck tech along with the 25 contraptions in the second part of this video and all of the cards that you need to uh, transfer this deck over to a regime renderer deck after um, rotation, if you will, after it expires and it's no longer legal to play on stable cards. So for $60, you kind of get a little bit of unstable fun in old buzz bark. You get the contraptions on the side uh, that are, you know, a part of your game, but not part of your 99. And then you get a chance to just go ahead and go over to a Roshin deck after that. So not a bad deal for $60 check old buzz bark out at mtggoldfish.com deck 860800 and stay tuned because right after this video we got another video popping up with the contraptions and then right after that we'll get in the roshin deck so make sure you watch all three make sure you like subscribe and share uh, if you liked it, if you want to share, and if you're not subscribed yet, I'm Joshua Jones from Fun and Affordable Magic Gathering, and we'll see you in just a bit.